Welcome to Burlington Subaru. I'm Terry Light, the Internet Sales Manager here. Um, today I'd like to tell you about the new 2011 Subaru Impreza WRX STI. As you can see, they brought back the four-door. You can get it as the four-door and still available as the five-door. So my goal for you today is to tell you a little bit about the car. I'm sure you've already done a lot of research about the STI, and today I'd like to tell you a little bit more about it. It does have 305 horsepower, 290 foot-pounds of torque, but the first thing I always liked about the STI is jumping in and just starting it up. I think the experience starts there. So, we'll jump in. Here we get start. You have the swinging of the needles. Nice fun dash to look at when you start up the car. And then just listen to the rumble. There's a lot of fun standard features that are on the STI. Um, one starting off to the left for driving habits and what kind of road you're driving on. You can change the height of your headlights by bringing them up a little further for a further distance. Or if you're really getting around those corners, you can bring the headlights down. Also, as you come across, you'll see that you do have the audio controls on the steering wheel. So as you're playing fun around and don't want to reach for that radio control, you can control it right from the radio. Cruise control is right up on top as well, um, but I don't know much cruising you'll be doing in the STI. But if you do have those phone calls coming in, you do also have the Bluetooth technology. So you can um, hook up your phone, talk right over the speakers to the radio, and carry on your conversation. With the radios that do come in, in the STIs, you do get the auxiliary jack where you can plug in your iPod or even have the USB port. If you have your music downloaded on a USB card, flash card, or things from there, you can play those right through there and play them right through the car stereo. With the car stereo, it is a single disc and dash CD changer, but it also has digital capabilities. If radio stations are broadcasting digitally, you can get all the information on there as far as the artists, the songs. And there is also an upgrade package where you can add the media hub to where you can actually control your auxiliary audio units from the radio and from the steering wheel. Also available in the STIs is the radios do come pre-wired for satellite radio. So you can always add in XM or Sirius, whichever is your favorite broadcasting, and then you can control them right from the steering wheel from there. Also, if you add the media hub, it gives you more control over your audio devices. The fun thing about the STI over the WRX and which makes it a lot more fun to drive, it gives you a lot of characteristics to change the car. One of those is the VDC, Vehicular Dynamics Control. The VDC just gives you a stability control system on top of the all-wheel drive, but if you're out playing with the STI and want to have some fun, well, you can turn it off. There's a second setting to where you can have it as low traction, or a third setting where it can have high traction, just depending on how you want it to get, to get through the snow for you. Driving around town, want to have good gas mileage? Well, the beauty of the STI is they also offer the SI drive, the Subaru Intelligent Drive. With the push of this button, you can switch it over to intelligent mode. And in the intelligent mode, that's for more economical. It doesn't allow the fuel to flow to the engine quite as quick and gives you a little better fuel economy. Everyday driving, put it in the sport mode. Gives you a round, so it gives you a lot, of a lot of time to play. But really want to get out there and have some fun? Change it to the Sport Sharp. In the Sport Sharp, it's free flowing fuel right to the engine and you can just get up and go and blow everybody out of the water. In addition to the VDC and the SI drive, you also have DCCD, which is Driver and Center Control Differential. It allows you to change the characteristics of how the car handles in its all-wheel drive system. You can change it from having a rear wheel biased to all the way locking all four wheels. With the STI, it's the only Subaru, the only Subaru in the lineup that allows you to lock all four wheels. So when you're out on those dirt roads rattling around, you can lock it up and just take control of the car. So the only time that the STI is a family car is when you have the family in the car. So a little bit about that. As you're getting out, you can see now that they've gone back to the four-door version, they have got a lot more space in the back. So just jumping in the back with the family. You can see I'm five foot ten, and you can see there's still plenty of room for my legs and plenty of headroom. So obviously, again, the only time it's a family car is when the family's in it. For those of you who like to ski and go up to the mountain and always looking for that extra space, well, in the four-door version, the back seat does fold down. So you can slide your skis in, snowboard, what you're looking at from there. And even from the remote, just press and pull, it'll pop the trunk open right open for you. So as you can see, there's plenty of space in the back with both sides of the seats folding down. Carry what cargo you'd like to be able to carry. Just because you're getting a sports car doesn't mean you have to sacrifice safety. One of the best safeties about the STI is you are wrapped in a ring-shaped cage-like construction, so you, are, you do have a cage wrapped all the way around you. But inside of that, you also have all the airbag safety. You have the side impact airbag directly on the side of the seat, so whether you're leaning forward or back, you are protected on the side. Also, the driver's seat is sensitive to where you're positioned to, the steering wheel on how that airbag deploys. The passenger seat is weight sensitive to the upper torso of the body. And then even with the passengers that are in the back, you do have the side curtain airbags as well. So you never have to give up that safety on the inside of the car. 
Some great styling points about the STI. You do get the 18 inch alloy wheels. They do have three different styles on them. You can get them with the chrome, the smoke, or in a silver finish uh, to touch those up. But you also have a four channel, four sensor ABS braking all the way around the car to control those brakings with the Brembo braking system on there. So as you look around the car, it's very nice styling to that. Also talking about some of the appearance, you'll notice the wing is back on the back of the STI. Not only is it there for the looks and for those, but if you are doing those highway speeds and traveling at the, you know, 100, 100 plus, which we don't recommend, you have to follow the speed limit, of course, but it does help bring the lift of the car and push it down to give you that better control. Of course, I'd like to show you the back end view of the STI. I don't know about you, but when I'm driving down the road, I always like to know what the back end of my car looks like to just kind of be a little flashy. But you'll see you have the Subaru symmetrical all-wheel drive, and of course, it's letting you know it's the Impreza, but it wouldn't be right without the STI logo. You'll see that they did change the selling on the back of the vehicle, but then you also have the quad chrome tipped exhaust on the back of the car too, so definitely giving you that rumbling sound when you're driving down the road. Well now that you've seen the back end of the car, what you're probably more important about is the front end of the car, what it looks like in somebody's rear view mirror when you're coming up upon them to tell them, get out of my way, I'm coming through. The beauty of the new STI, you can see they did keep the wide flares on the four door. You'll see they've got the eagle shaped eyes. You still have the Subaru logo with the wing airplane, and then of course, who can forget the hood scoop, to take in that extra air to give you that extra boost. Of course, looks of everything, you do want to turn the heads as you're going down the road and make everyone just go and all. But don't you want to know what gives you that power to go down the road and make everyone get out of the way? We'll just take a look underneath the engine. It is a dual overhead cam, powered by the turbo engine. There is so many technical information on this, I'd love to send you the information in an email. I'll give you all the technical specs, but here you go. This is what's powering you to go down the road and have a lot of fun. Again, I'm Terry Light, the Internet Sales Manager here at Burlington Subaru. I want to thank you for your time today. Just gave you a quick brief description on the interior exterior. There's definitely a lot more information to go over, and I'd like to show you that in person. So I do invite you to come down to Burlington Subaru or find us on the web at BurlingtonSubaru.com. There, send in an email request to even view our web pages. You'll see a lot of more information about our dealership and the car.